video that talks about home prices that are in Indianapolis as opposed to uh, other locations. So uh, someone sent me a video of a home here in Tacoma that was for 325000 So I wanted to kind of get an idea of what home prices were in other areas. And the well said, you know what, you should do a video talking about home prices in other locations compared to here. So it just so happens that this guy yesterday on our Discord, um, he sent me a, uh, a listing here in Tacoma of what a house is for 325000 So I wanted to go through and compare Indianapolis, Atlanta, Denver, Houston, Pittsburgh, New Orleans, and Nashville, um, and what you get there as opposed to here and uh, home prices here. So... Um, now, if the quality doesn't sound the greatest, I apologize. Um, you know, I'm simply trying to <laughs> do the best I can with this. Um, so, hold on one second. Okay, so, anyhow, I'm kind of new to doing the whole voiceover thing and all of that, so... You got to bear with me here, but um, what you're going to see is a few different homes that I actually picked, all at 325, and what I wanted to do was make sure that I actually had homes that were exactly 325, because the home that I'm using as a test was uh, 325 here in Tacoma. So first up is Indianapolis, and as you can see, there's a few different homes that are going to be available here. So I'm going to just choose this very first one here, right? So it's your average home. It's a four-bedroom house, and let's just see exactly how much you're, you're getting here, right? Four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 3,100 square feet, 325,000. I'm going to go through, and you can see some of the images here. Now, I understand folks are going to say, I can't hardly hear you if the sound's off or what have you, but I'm using a microphone that is uh, detached from this. So it's going to sound a little bit different than what you guys are accustomed and used to. But anyhow, just looking at this home, you can see uh, quickly through here, you have hardwood floors, just a standard bathroom, nothing crazy. You know, it's just a typical bathroom. Um, this house is turnkey, meaning that you are able to just move right in. It's not, you don't need to do a lot of renovations in order to move in. You'll be ready to go. Back looks great. Look at that patio there. Looks really, really nice. It looks like a fire pit. It's got a little basketball court that's out there. Um, pretty decent sized yard. This is kind of typical of what you would see. Not the basketball court, but... This yard is typical of what you would see in Indiana or Indianapolis. So looks like it was fenced in. Three-car garage, 325 in Indianapolis. Next, what we're going to do is go to Atlanta. This house here, about 325, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, about 1,995 square feet. Uh, again, it looks like it's been remodeled. Living room's not bad. What you're going to see here in this house is the furniture. They, This isn't real furniture, meaning that software is used to actually recreate a staging process. It used to be that companies would have to move furniture in and actually stage it. Nowadays, there's software to do that. It's just much faster, cheaper, easier to do that. So you're going to see some of the rooms that are um, staged with the software and some that are not to just give you an idea of what things look like. So this is one of those where it's staged, but that's what it looks like when you show up, right? So it gives you an idea. But anyway, so this is another house um, that is uh, looks pretty good. The floors are great. Um, you know, it's like tile to me. And again, taking it, taking the furniture out of there. Granite countertops, basic appliances. I mean, you know. They're just white. There's no stainless steel. The backsplash looks great. Uh, you may want to change out the cabinets or change the color or something. But, you know, again, you could live in this. You could move right in. It's not like you have to do any major overhaul. Recessed lighting. Again, just basic refrigerator. On the side there, you could probably put in some sort of storage for 
food and stuff like that if you wanted to. It's easy to do that nowadays with racks and things. Okay, so again, another area of the kitchen. Seems like you can go out the back door. It has even a little um, garage area. So let's go through here. Bathroom looks pretty good. Um, looks like it's been updated. Wood floors, second bathroom, it's got some subway tile. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's the going downstairs part or what that is, but it, that needs some work. Nice big deck. Shows you what it could look like. It's built on a hillside, so it's kind of slopey. But really, the whole house is kind of on a slope. So, again, not too bad. Um, $325 is what you would pay for this. Uh, this area here is kind of dry. But the landscaping's all right. Like, it, you wouldn't really need to do a lot. There's steps to go up to the top of the yard. But you really wouldn't need to do a whole lot. I'm repeating now. So let's go to the next one. And the next city that we're going to look at is Denver. So this is in Denver, Colorado. Three, two bedrooms, one bath, 800 square feet, 325. And, you know, as you get towards the west, things are going to be a little bit more pricier. You're not going to get much bang for your buck. But even with this, you're still getting a turnkey house. The floors look great. The people definitely do live in the house. Uh, they're, they're living in it, for sure. Um, but that shouldn't deter you from the main points of looking at, you know, the bones of the house, the, uh, the things that you get, all of that. You know, nice doors. The shower, I love that floor looks great. Tile in the shower. It's nice. It's your average home. It's a little smaller, but still, not bad. Fenced in backyard. This fence on one side looks a little newer. This, this other fence looks a little older, but again, nothing that's, that's horrible. Right? This uh, detached garage, some people can use that as a second little living space and rent that out. At least you can do that here. 325, that's in Denver, Colorado. 800 square feet, two bedrooms, one bath. Okay. So now let's go to Houston. Houston, you can get a lot in Houston. You can get a lot. So let's go through here and see if we can find 325 right on the nose. This is 324. So let's let's do this. 324, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, 3,133 square feet. This is amazing. Look at this. I mean, nice. Look at the floors. Look at all the stainless steel. Look at the cabinets, granite. It looks amazing. Looks amazing. Look at the wall decal. Nice big rooms. Look at the detail on this. You have an outdoor living space. Pretty decent sized backyard. Little office. Kitchen just looks amazing. Looks amazing. Stainless steel. Two car garage. All brick. Okay, so now it's repeating. But that's what you can get in Houston for $325,000. Four beds, three and a half baths. Okay? Let's go to Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh, this is a townhouse. Or, yeah, this looks like a townhouse. I don't know. There's a house down below, but and it's $325,000. But I don't know which one. I guess I'm going to just go for the... the the townhouse here. And three bedrooms, two and a half bath, 1,776 square feet. And nice wood floors. Recessed lighting. You can see the vents up at the top. Um, so it is uh, central air and heat. Nice deck. Rooftop deck, it looks like. Bathrooms are updated. Nice upstairs. Recess lighting, definitely live in this space too. Not bad, bathroom looks great with that tub. Looks great. 
You have a shower that's separate from the tub. Right? Looks pretty darn good. Tile. Smaller bath or smaller bedroom. Workspace. It's a little workshop. Covered patio. Looks pretty good. Now I, the wood is the thing I don't like so much, only because this location here. It's a lot of moisture. Two car garage. A lot of times with wood, as long as you stain it, you should be good. 325, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1776. New Orleans. Let's go to New Orleans. This house here is three beds, three baths, 1,312 square feet. This is one of those homes that look small from the street, but they're pretty big. You get a lot of bling for this. Look at all this updated stuff. Cabinets, stainless steel appliances, wooden floor. It looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. another view another view this is a long house and I'll give you the reason why this is the hallway this bathroom here I would change that pink out but not too bad again turnkey you can move right in it, none of this is stuff that's bad this bedroom is very narrow but I'll give you a reason why it's a long house and so they it seems like they probably added on to this house at some point. So the bedroom, this bedroom's small. There's another bedroom that's kind of small in an awkward space. But they try to maximize as much as they can to give you the three bedrooms, right? Every bedroom adds value to the house. The bathroom adds value to the house. So there's a reason why folks will do that. And then depending upon the size of the bathroom, you'll change the, uh, the price point. Bedroom size doesn't necessarily change it. You even have a little hot tub out there. Covered, again, a covered little patio, patio deck, fountain. Love those trees. Right? This wooden area, I would probably knock down. Again, the whole wood thing. There's uh, gazebos you can get that are, you know, metal and all that, which would probably last longer, look better, in my opinion. But you could easily put some stain on that or something to protect the wood, bring it back to life. But, yeah, that's what I would do, in my opinion. I would, I would change that out. All right, let's go to... So if you see, this house is long, right? That bedroom that had that hallway was right there. And if this area I'm showing you right now is where the house probably originally ended back in the day. And then they added on all this. This porch is what you see when you first look at the house. So you have to enter through the porch, the living room, go through the kitchen, the hallway. That one little bedroom is right there. And then you have to go through, and then you have your bathroom. Then you have your main bedroom, which is the master. And in order for you to get to that other bedroom that's way up here, you're going to have, you can't go any other way to get there other than going through the laundry room. You would then have to go through a bed, a bathroom, then get into the bedroom. So it's kind of different, right? It, it's kind of different. That's why I said this portion of the house was probably built first, and this skinnier part was built second. But yeah, you would have to go through here because there's a door and a door and then your main door to get into the laundry room. So that's the only way you can get in there. And that looks like you can get enter into the laundry room from outside. Interesting. So yeah, small deceptive look in the front, but it gives you a lot of house just based on the length of it. So again, not too bad. I love the trees. Three bedrooms, three baths, 1,312 square feet, 325 in New Orleans. Finally, we're going to go to Nashville, or Nash Vegas, as it's called. 325,000 three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,932 square feet. I have a lot of friends that I went to school with that live in Nashville. Recessed lighting, kitchen's not super huge, but not bad. Floors are not too bad. I mean, you could probably polish them a little bit and bring them a little bit more, make them pop a little bit. But cabinets are a little worn, but again, you can easily fix that. This is all turnkey. It's not something that you would need to do a lot of work on. Carpet looks fairly new. 
uh, or replace. Bathroom's not bad. There's a little makeup area there, right? Um, again, typical bedrooms, nothing crazy. Doesn't seem like anything stands out that there will be a problem at all. You might want to update some of some of the things there, but you know, again, not too, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Big, big deck on the back. That's great for garden doing and different things. Really nice. I would definitely stain that deck again. Give it some long life. A lot of people don't stain wood. It's interesting. You'll get a lot longer life, and it looks a whole lot better once you do. It's not super expensive. You have a pretty decent sized yard, too. And again, this is a two-car garage, right? So now, so 325, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,932 square feet in Nashville, Tennessee. Now let's take a look at what you're going to get in Tacoma. Because I always tell people that your expectations coming in are going to be different. This is 325 in Tacoma, Washington. Okay. It says five bedrooms, one and a half bath, 1,564 square feet. This seems like a developer had it or a flipper had it and just got bogged down with too many different projects. And they're selling it. This is not in a strange area of the city. It's in an okay area. It's right there on 60th Street. Uh, it's not a bad area, a bad location at all. But this is what you're getting for 325 here. Yeah, this is the, the, the house that the gentleman sent me from Discord. Be sure to join our Discord. It's going to be down in the description box below. But this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say if you want a house, the average price is this amount of $450,000. You can have, find houses that are cheaper than that, and you can find houses more expensive. This is what I mean by the cheaper. This is, this is where you can find something a little bit cheaper. And it goes through here and it talks about it's along a particular trail and all of that. You could probably make another bedroom or bathroom into this. So instead of having five beds and one and a half bath, you can make it four bedrooms and two baths if you wanted to. It tells you all of the, the stuff. And it is cash only. So this house is already sold. It was $325 cash only. It's already been bought. Out of all the houses you've seen, this is the only one that's been sold, and this is in Tacoma, Washington. This is what 325 will get you. Look at the floors. Look at the condition. Right now, if you're looking for a home in Tacoma for 325 what you would get in these other cities, this is what you're going to get in Tacoma, Washington. Right? That water heater is going to probably need to be up to code. Here you have to have earthquake straps. Even out here, this along the side here needs to be updated. But that's not that big of a deal. It's just clearing out some brush and all that. That building there needs some work. The, the roof is uh, corrugated metal, worn out. The paneling on the side is going to be replaced. I assume this door is still there. If not, the plywood's up there to protect it or to keep things from going in. But more than likely, you would have to just replace the whole thing. Right here, you also have a front door, but it seems like that could be another door. I don't know, or a window, or what have you. This used to be the garage, you tell. So I don't know if that is busted in, a door, or a window, or if they're just protecting. I don't know. But you would definitely need to do some rehab work on the outside as well as on the inside. Sad to say, the inside needs by far more work than the outside. The outside definitely needs some work, for sure. But the inside of this is going to need a tremendous amount of work also. But yeah, I'm not sure why that's boarded up right there. Look, look at the floors, the conditions of the floor. I don't think you can even bring that back. You, you might. I don't know if you can. There's some mold up there on the top. There's some mold right here too. They took down all the cabinets and stuff, but look at the floor. You would have to really do some work. Now, even though this house looks bad, there are flippers who can make this house look just as good as these others that we've seen in these other cities. They can really come in here and really make it look amazing. They can clean all this up, put in new cabinets, new appliances, and you wouldn't even know any different. New lighting, change out the windows, but they could easily fix this and you wouldn't know it. 
Now, some people may say, well, maybe this is just what he chose. Like somebody found the worst thing. Let's find, I went from 300,000 to 325 in Tacoma. And as you can see, there's not a lot. There's not a lot that's available. Okay. Well, let's say a dozen houses. But even if we were to choose some other houses, you're seeing small homes, right? They're not very big. Two bedroom, one bath. Three bedrooms, one bath. Only a few hundred square feet. 950 square feet here. Three bedrooms, one bath. Two bedrooms, one bath. 900 square feet. So you're not getting a lot. Right? And the outside may look fine, but the inside is questioned out. Down here, you're going to see one for 325 but that's a condo. And it's a one bedroom, one bath, 900 square feet. Now, it does look good. I clicked on that prior because I did this video before and I didn't have audio. Um, so i done that one. I clicked on this one before, too. That looks okay. But, again, it's nothing to – doesn't look like the other homes we saw in the other cities. These houses, in my opinion, are not turnkey. Three bedrooms, one bath, 1,128 square feet. Take a look. <coughs> These cabinets have to be gutted. You can't, I mean, you could maybe rehab them, but you would have to gut this. It's just this plywood. So, yeah, you would have to completely, you could put some stuff on it to change it out, but you'd probably be better off just gutting it. Bathroom seems like they've done some work within it. It's probably the better portion of everything. Bedrooms don't look too bad. Floors look okay, but look at the drywall. Look at the seams in the drywall, right? Look at the seams. Somebody didn't hang the drywall correctly, so it's not going to look right. There's just gaps and open spaces and stuff. This down here is not the hottest thing either. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it needs some work. And, and what I mean by it's not turnkey is because... If someone were to move in here, move their stuff in, and you basically said, okay, I'm going to remodel a certain area, you're going to have to move everything out. It's not simple as just painting, right? you got to move everything out, like here. you got to move all this out in order to put the drywall in. You can't just, you know, put up a little bit and, you know, move stuff around. you got to clear out everything. And that's just this particular room. I haven't seen other rooms enough to see if the drywall is similar. Somebody put this in, and it definitely is not done correctly at all, you know. So then you have this basement area. You have the outside, which needs some, needs some work done, right? That's $324,950. you are even saving 50 bucks, right? Three bedrooms, one bath, 1,128 square feet. So gives you an idea. Gives you an idea. It's not too too. It's not too too bad, but it, you have to humble yourself because again, your money's not going to go as far here. And that's just one bathroom, which is kind of typical. This one here is uh, three fifteen. The outside looks great. Three bedrooms, two baths. But look, it's not turnkey. Look at the carpet. Look at the walls. Looks like. There's some, it's kind of moldy. You look up here at the top by the ceiling fan, maybe it's the angle. It's got the baseboard heaters. If you look up here, it looks like there's dark spots, like there could be mold or something going on. The, the floors, look at that. You're going to probably have to replace that. You got the kitchen. You could, now that looks okay, but again, it needs some work. Now the bathrooms need work. This isn't turnkey. Could you move into it and, you know, work on it? Sure, you could. You could. This probably, this vanity is probably the nicest looking thing I've seen yet, but it's just got the basic, you know, top to it. You know, not a big, you know, the wind, that mirror needs to be replaced. Put in a new light type fixture, paint this wall, and it would look probably pretty good. But the rest of this, you're going to have to do some work. They even have the, the uh, attic space access in the bedroom. Yeah, baseboard heaters. Baseboard heaters are going to eat you up in terms of electric prices. 
So when people talk about their TPU bill, the question is what type of heat do you use? And this doesn't have, since it has baseboard heaters, I have not seen any vents. So it doesn't have air conditioning whatsoever. There's no venting in this building, in this house. So if you wanted to add vents in here, it would be extremely expensive for them, for them to run the duct space in this uh, house in order to actually do that. They would have to really tear into it to do it. Pretty big um, closet space, big walk-in closet space. I would redesign that a little bit. Maybe make it so that I have a little bit more bedroom space. I don't think you need all that. Definitely with the three separate doors. I don't get that really, but I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Uh, basement that water heater is out of code for sure uh, it's not on a pad it definitely doesn't have earthquake straps on it it is very outdated so it needs to be replaced anyway um, it's past its useful life you can just tell they don't make them look like that anymore so yeah it needs that earthquake strap for it to be up to code the wiring looks suspect to me I'm not an electrician but just looking at things before in houses and that's kind of what I do uh, it just it doesn't look right it looks sketchy it looks like they did a lot of splicing and adding and all of that it just it, it's not it doesn't look right <laughs> you would have to get someone in to, to definitely uh, probably rewire just to be on the safe side and not have a uh, big issue this seems like a how look at that there's a gap there so more than likely when you talk about creatures coming in they come through there but also water comes in there and so you end up with a basement that gets flooded, especially if we have constant, you know, days of rain. You get water that gets down here. And because it's a basement, it's going to always be kind of moist and damp like that. So this looks new. This foundation piece looks new or in good condition. But, yeah, it it's interesting. That's not bad. It's not bad. See right here. That looks like water damage to me. Looks like there's some mold and whatnot. Like water has gotten in here for sure. You can see it on the back wall. So not a lot of backyard either. The outside looks all right. But it's fool's gold because on the inside, not so much. But that even by itself, $315,000. Three bedrooms, two baths, 1,532 square feet. So again... 450 right now, it's a little over 450 is about the average price in Tacoma. You can find something cheaper, but this is what you're going to find, right? And even at this point, at the four somethings, it's going to be a place that you need to probably fix up, right? Um, you're going to have to do some fixing up. But let's go up to kind of the, the higher end of uh, or right where the average is where you can move in. And it's kind of turnkey, and you don't need to do a lot. Maybe paint something. Maybe a wall color is not what you like, or maybe there's something you wanted to add or something like that. But it's not like, oh, my goodness, right? You're still going to need to do some work. Now, I'll go to the ones that are similar to where you don't need that because you're going to need to bump it up to the fives. But this is kind of the average run of the mill homes right now. This is the sweet spot. 475 is about the average price for homes. You hit that middle part like what we're looking at now you're gonna have less issues right but you're gonna need about 475 to do it got this galley kitchen wood countertop looks great nice wood floors updated appliances built-ins not too bad right um, yeah bathrooms not that big going through this really quickly so you can just get a good idea backsplash with subway tile bathrooms updated as you can see this is similar to the homes you saw for 325 and other places. There are some seam issues, like right here, you can kind of see. Uh, I can't see the rest of it, but these panels, when they put them in, are uh, screwed in, and you have a plate that goes in, but this is old school. Look at the knobs. This is old school, but this seam right here, it's not sealed in. Right there, it's not sealed in, so water can get behind there. And what they did was, is it seems like they updated the, the, the spray nozzle, but they didn't update the knobs or the faucet down below. And so, but yeah, right there, water can get in. 
because it's not sealed in correctly, and then you end up with a whole wall that starts to eventually just rot down to the studs. So right along through here, again, not sealed in, water's going to get in there, get in there, and eventually it's going to rot in this whole section. Sometimes you can go down to the floor and rot it. So you don't, you don't see it, but it's there. Right? It's there. It becomes expensive. It's like they sprayed the floor, like painted it, because look at that white piece of furniture, or white uh, cabinet. It's got some uh, brown stuff on it. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But, yeah, that's that's one area that I'm talking about where you need to do some fixing up. Now, this is something you can do. It's just cough. Hopefully the top of the, the plates are, are sealed in. But, yeah, that's something that you could easily do. It wouldn't prevent me from buying it. It's just that you need to know what to look for because this is a house that maybe uh, was remodeled a bit ago and she's been lived in or something. And, uh, they're just selling it. It's not like it's been recently flipped, I wouldn't think, based on everything. Again, sorry for the noise. They're playing games, and so they're going to be loud, especially gardening. That's just, what she, that's just how she plays games. I'm allowed to. I play games. I can help. Okay, so looking out here, not bad. But one thing, I mean, there's some cracks in the concrete. That's to be expected. Not a big deal. That's to be expected. That's just kind of the, the patio area. But... You can't see the foundation. Right here is the foundation where these vents are. You have two pieces of paneling there. Siding, I should say. And you can't see the crawl space. So I can't tell you if there's cracks in the foundation. Because there's vents, and the vents are used to let the crawl space vent out. But I can't see that siding is also not in the best of shape. So again, could you move into it? Sure. Because someone can replace the siding with no problem. While you're living in it, not bad. Yard is okay. I mean, it's not big, but it's you know it's all right. A little open garage area, workspace area, not bad. So again, I mean, just a typical, average, regular family home. Two car garage doesn't look the greatest on the outside. But 475, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 1862. Okay, this is about what you're going to get. Now, this is 464, four bedrooms, two baths. Let's take a look at this. It's going to be a little smaller. I mean, you can see kind of a more cramped room and that type of thing. But hold on a second. Let me tell you. Alright, sorry. So here's the bathroom. And, yeah, everything is kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice little house. It's a nice little house. Things are a little bit updated. Bathroom is just kind of basic. You can see that's sealed. See that panel there? It's sealed. It looks like one solid panel. But the, the, the thing's in the way. It looks like it's one solid piece, and this whole thing has got a piece of caulking all around the, the side. I don't know about the top, but you can see right in there, there's caulking. So there's no way water's going to get behind that. Typical of what you're going to see for bedrooms here with those little ceilings like that. It looks all right. That looks like that could be some potential water issue or mold. Mold's a big issue. But here's the problem. Look at that. So this is foundational issues. You have cracks and things like that. It looks wet. And so this could be a problem. This could definitely be a problem where you have some structural, some foundational structural issues. The water heater is updated the way it's supposed to be. From what I can tell, it's got the strap on it, uh, earthquake straps. But this is troubling for me, at least based on what I'm looking at. Um, you know, they've got some, they're sealing up the windows, but it's not the prettiest thing. But yeah. The outside of this also needs some work, the paneling, the wood, all of that needs to be fixed because it's been weathered pretty heavily. Backyard's not bad. Fencing needs to be replaced. Right there, there's some sections missing. Is it turnkey? Sure, but the foundation is something that concerns me um, pretty heavily. Decent sized front yard, not fenced in in the front, but that's 464. 
Now, for a house like what you got in Indianapolis for three twenty-five, if you want that here, you can get that. But you're going to have to jump it up quite a bit. You're going to have to go up another two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in order to get what you, I'd say two hundred to two fifty. This is five twenty-five, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, two thousand ninety square feet. This is the same similar house, right? They're both four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Um, this one in Tacoma is a little bit smaller. So if you want, if you're living in a home in Indianapolis for three twenty-five. In order to get a similar house, you're going to have to probably pay an extra $200,000 as of right now, right? And then you're going to get the same style of, or the same type of house, right? The same type of house. So that should give you an idea. Granite countertops, nice tub. This you would not need to do any sort of fixing up. This is right. This is... I would change that paint out. I mean, the black is kind of different. I didn't do such a good job there. But I would change that out. But it's not something you can't live with, right? You can go in there, slap some paint on, you're done. This is complete turnkey. You don't have to put any investment in. There's no foundational issues that I can see based on the picture. Yard's okay in terms of size. It's fenced in. You got the black fence and you got this cool little gazebo that's out there for outdoor space. There's nothing behind you, so... You have some great landscaping, you know, it, it's, it's this, I would stain the fence, uh, but again, I mean, there's minimal work, three car garage, three car garage, and the one in Indianapolis was three car garage, right? The one in Indianapolis is actually even bigger. So this is 2,090, 2,100 square feet. The one in Indianapolis is an extra thousand square feet bigger. And yet, this house here is $200,000 more. So, if you're looking for a home here, humble yourself. Be sure to join our Discord. It's down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.